First built in 589 AD, Fuzhou city of Jiangxi province is now more than 1400 years old. The city's history is closely connected with Tianjin Bay Irrigation System, an ancient local water project. Originating in the northern part of Wuyi Mountain, Fuha River is a major tributary of Poyang Lake in the Yangtze River Basin and flows across Fuzhou City from south to north. The city is the point where the river leaves the mountains behind and runs to plains. Therefore, the river is very turbulent at this place and sometimes changes its course. When this happens, Fuzhou City is plagued with flooding or water shortage. Since Tianjin Bay Irrigation System was built in the 9th century, its diversion dike has helped stabilize the river course, prevent flooding, and provide water for irrigation and navigation, turning this region into a rich granary. The 1,000-meter-long diversion dike was built 1,100 years ago. It is located at the upstream of Fuzhou City, where Fuha River bifurcates and connects with Zhongzhou Way, an area of low-lying land protected by embankment. In the late 1950s, Tianjin Bay Irrigation System was integrated into Jinlin Canal Irrigation System. Though the water source of Tianjin Bay Irrigation System changed, its dikes and irrigation canal network are still functioning. At first, the diversion dike was a temporary project made of timbers and bamboo cages filled with rocks. Later in the 16th century, it was rebuilt into a masonry gravity structure, and this reconstruction has been key to the development of this irrigation system. When the Fuha River levees broke at the Yaohu Lake in the late 15th century, the diversion dike was destroyed and the river changed its course, turning the east of Fuzhou City into a flood area. And this lasted for years. In the 1570s, the mayor began to rebuild the diversion dike on a large scale. He hired masons who built seawalls in Zhejiang province to reconstruct the diversion dike and levees into masonry gravity structures. In this way, Fuha River was guided into its original course and the embankment of Zhongzhou Wei area was completed, creating what is now called Tianjin Bay Zhongzhou Wei Water Project. The Gangang River, the new course of Fuha River formed after the flood destroyed levees, became a flood bypass for the diversion dike. Today, the diversion dike, with its 400-year-old masonry structure, is 6 to 7 meters tall, 1100 meters long, and 9 to 12 meters wide at the top. In the dry season, it guides the Fuha River back to its original course, providing enough water for domestic use, irrigation, and navigation. While in the wet season, it diverts the flood into the newly formed bypass, protecting Fuzhou City against inundation. This is the remains of the diversion dike of the 1620s. Its main structure is made of pine wood and stone slabs to mitigate uneven settlement and ensure project security. The stone slabs are in the same size. To make the dike more integrated and stable, the slabs are laid either parallel or perpendicular to each other. The foot of the dike is made of pine wood piles. The structure formed by these piles could protect the dike from erosion. Openings are built into the dike for the purpose of flood discharge. Zhongzhou Wei refers to the low-lying land connected to the diversion dike and its surrounding embankment. The embankment, gradually formed after the completion of the diversion dike, is as long as 30.4 kilometers. Within this area, there is a complete canal network used for navigation, irrigation, and drainage. The network covers an area of about 24.14 square kilometers. This is Xiaoyi Gong, the main canal that runs 13 kilometers across Zhangzhou Way, from the water intake at the diversion dike to its entrance to the Fuha River. In the 1970s, Jinlin Canal was built as the upstream of the river and became the water source of Xiaoyi Gong Canal. The water intake at the diversion dike was abandoned. However, the canal network is still functioning. Today, six sluice gates are built on the canals to control irrigation and drainage, and more than 30 ponds are connected with the main canal so that a proper amount of water runs in the canal in both dry and flood seasons. 
Thanks to such a complete dike canal pond system, the irrigation area reaches 1,467 hectares. As the Tianjin Bay Zhongzhou Way Water Project witnessed gradual improvement after the 10th century, migrants flooded in, population surged, and agriculture boomed. Many villages in this region are named after irrigation facilities. The genealogy books kept by the villagers are testimonies to the development of local communities and the water project. Dotted by ancient bridges, trees, and temples, Zhongzhou Way enjoys good natural and cultural environment. The sustainable development of Tianjin Bay irrigation system has been the result of government investment and management by both government and local communities. In the old days, the diversion dike, Xiaoyi Gong Canal, and the embankment were built and maintained by the government, while branch canals and ponds were managed by water users under government supervision. Such a management system very well reflects the rights, obligations, and interests of the beneficiaries. The worship of water god served as a cultural bond that united the local government and people for project maintenance. Shuihu Temple, specially built for Tianjin Bay Irrigation System, was where local people worship water god. Income from publicly owned farmland funded annual repairs and rights. For more than 1,000 years, Tianjin Bay Irrigation System has made tremendous contribution to the development of Fuzhou City. As the city grew richer, local culture prospered. It is home to Tang Xian Zhu, one of ancient China's most prominent playwrights. Four Dreams at Lin Chuen, his masterpieces have made great impact on Chinese culture. He once wrote a long poem to record the evolution of Tianjin Bay Irrigation System and praise it for its benefits of flood control, irrigation, and navigation, creating a timeless painting for this great water project.